Hi, I'm Mike Goldman. In half an hour, the Friday Night Live games are on again. And tonight, it's a very special night. It's the return of the Big Brother All-Stars. That's right, this year's Final Fantastic Four are going head-to-head -head with a team made up entirely of former housemates. To find out who's the best of the best, join me at 7.30. But right now, it's time for The Daily Show. <laughs> Tonight on Big Brother, the housemates rebel. If she's just going to make life hell for us, why wouldn't we, why wouldn't we keep doing it? But the mutiny backfires. If you do not want to follow the rules of the Big Brother house, you can pack your bags and go. So what's the next plan of action? It's aluminium Monday day, hooray, hooray. It's aluminium Monday day. I'm not doing it, Greg. I'm sorry, I'm taking it off. The housemates have to remain chained together 24 hours a day for this week's task. But during her second night chained to Greg, Vesna decides she's had enough. That's cool. Did you want to take it off? I'm taking it off when I get in bed. I'm sorry. I don't care what it says. I don't care what he does. I need my sleep. I don't get my sleep. I'll be very sick. I don't it's care. All right. I cannot sleep with the chain. Yeah. I took the chain off last night. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't deal with it anymore. I wonder if there's any point going on there. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think there is. I'm sorry, I really am. But I couldn't do it. But mm -hmm. if, if, if the challenge has no pleasure in it for you, and you feel like you've got to keep doing it if we keep doing it, then I think it's probably we just unclip and enjoy the day together. <laughs> <laughs> I just Peacefully. fear for the ramifications, that's all. You worry about ramifications? Yeah. That like big what? brother might have. Oh, you know what he's like. But what? What can we do? I don't think he'll give us any ramifications. I think... Maybe he'll just leave us... I think he's pretty happy. Conscience. I think he'd be pretty satisfied that we'd, you know, he'd be like, oh, well, they brought the chain, that's... Yeah, it's a legitimate expected. response to the experiment. Yeah. What are we doing? Because I really want to get up and I'm going to make breakfast. Really yeah, right. nice scrambled eggs. Well, I, th I would have liked to keep going with the challenge. I'm disappointed. Same. I'm disappointed that we're not doing it anymore. I'm disappointed that. Um, but I also know that I don't want Vita. I don't want Vita. Um, you know, it's obviously hurting you, and I don't want it to continue. You know what I mean? What do you say, Greg? You know, I agree with what you said too. That was pretty much yeah. I think it's pretty obvious what we're doing. <laughs> Yay! Yes! Yay! Oh, oh. I get out of my bed! <laughs> Shut up, old man. No. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna go make a nice breakfast now. This is Big Brother. All housemates to the diary room. Do you reckon that's because we unclipped? Yeah. <laughs> Quick. We're in trouble. I told you. Oh. Well. Oh, we can. Oh no, what is it saying? Oh, rules, oh. rules. There are no rules. Housemates. Big brother. Yes, big brother. Your task this week was to stay connected. You are not connected. Why? Um, I mean, I'll answer that, I think. Yeah, okay. Big Brother, um, I was having serious um, issues with being chained up. I was extremely stressed and I couldn't... Um, I couldn't um, tell anyone. Big Brother, if I could just quickly speak, I suppose, for the no. address. No, don't just leave it. Did he speak then? Yeah, he said no. Vesna, 
Did yeah. you discuss your decision with your housemates? No, I didn't, because it was late at night and I wasn't in no state to discuss anything. I had to... I, I, I couldn't. Why didn't you come and talk about it with Big Brother? Because I was angry. I couldn't. I, I couldn't deal with being chained up anymore. I couldn't do it. Housemates, as you all know, there are consequences for breaking rules. Vesna. Yes. From this moment, you are banned from using the kitchen. You cannot be involved in the preparation of any food. You cannot gather in the kitchen. You can only use it as a thoroughfare. Vesna. Yes. Big Brother is fining you $5,000. Tim. Big Brother is fining you $5,000. Logan Gregg. Big Brother is fining you $5,000. Melanie. Big Brother is fining you $5,000. Big Brother wants to make this absolutely clear. If you do not want to follow the rules of the Big Brother house, you can pack your bags and go. None of you is being kept here against your will. The task is continuing. The task is compulsory. That is all. Thank you, big brother. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up, are the housemates regretting their rebellion? The world is not revolving around you. Well, I'm thinking about you guys. I'm thinking about everyone in here. To evict Melanie, dial 1902 555581 or SMS Melanie to 191010. Voting costs 55 cents, including GST. Calls from mobiles higher. Voting and SMS lines close at 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, the 7th of August. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.3mobile.com.au. You got to do it in a single panel, dude. Yeah, I'm going to. I realise, but chopping and changing little bits is going to really hurt. To lighten the mood, the boys have decided to wear aluminium foil underpants for the rest of the day. Yeah, that's more comfortable. Where's he and let me use the kitchen? When the said. task is over. Is that what he said? I don't know. I think so. No, he didn't say that, but... He didn't? He just no. said you're banned from the kitchen. He didn't say for how long or... Fancy banning a woman from the kitchen. <laughs> Yeah, I hadn't thought of that already. Vesna decides to double check the rules of her kitchen ban with Big Brother. Vesna. Big Brother. Um, just wanted to clarify things about the kitchen rules. Yes. Um, can I give orders from the lounge room? You are not permitted to be involved in food preparation in any way. How long is this going to go for? Indefinitely. Um, I feel sorry, but I just feel like this happens all the time. Whenever she's under stress, she just doesn't suck it up. You know, other people suck yeah, it up she, and take it, and she yeah. just she just won't do it, and I, that frustrates me very much. She'll get through this task. But, um, but um, if, she's, if she's just going to we'll make life hell for us, yeah. why, wouldn't we, why would we keep doing it? What are you feeling? I just don't find it... I find it hard to take in that you... are doing this to me because you know how I'm going to react and you just take everything away from me. And I don't understand how you don't understand. You say you're meant to be fair and you say you're meant to understand and care, but I don't feel like you do that. Vesna, throughout your time in the house, Big Brother's always made it clear 
that you can come to the diary room and discuss any problems that you have. You've done this in the past and we've managed to come up with solutions for some of your problems. So I can't come into here and talk to you and say to you, I'm not dealing with this and you're going to fix it because you're not going to fix it because you've chained us up. And I don't deal with people chaining me up. I don't like to be chained up. You have to understand that and that was my only solution. I'm not going to come and talk about my problems when your decision in chaining us up is my problem. So how can I possibly talk to you if I'm angry with you and you can't see that? I don't understand how you don't understand that. Vesna, just because you're angry with Big Brother, it doesn't mean Big Brother can't find a solution for you. There are three other housemates in the same position. You need to remember that your decisions impact on them. Is the only reason you didn't come and ask Big Brother was because you were angry with Big Brother? Yes. We are your friends. We all copped a fine this morning, or we all did what we thought was right by you this morning. No one else, BB, anything else, nothing else came to our minds, but how can we make it so it's easier on Bess because she's having a rough time? This is highly degrading for me. It it's is, highly... but remember also, can I just say this, that it's not a walk in the park for us either. You know, it is irritating. Because of me? No. Yes, because Well, no, because, yeah. no, but not just because of you. Yes, because of you, but because of just, because this task is difficult for everyone. If it's difficult for you, we're finding it difficult as individuals. Nothing to do with you. The world is not revolving around you. We're all tired. We're all feel a bit unhappy. So you've got to help us by, by understanding that we too are filling this task and we too are affected by how much it's affecting you. Everyone always keeps on giving me this advice, well, Vess, you've just got to see the positive side to it and, and, you know, you've just got to see that the task will end soon and, you know, you've just got to see that. No, I don't just got to see nothing. I don't. This is how I deal with it. I have never been taught how to deal with anything in my whole life and I've taught myself to deal with it this way. Yeah. And, I, and that's why in life I, I don't put myself in these situations. But yeah. you are, but you have. But I didn't know this, Tim, no. I didn't know that this Surely situation... there's an obvious solution to that conundrum. I've been here nine weeks and all of a sudden I'm just going to pick up and leave. If I'm I'm gonna, if I don't I'm think you should do that. Through. I'm just saying to you that... I would have left five weeks ago. Yes, you've got to understand, and I think... I think... <sighs> I, I appreciate you guys giving me advice. I appreciate you listening to me. I really do. But you've got and to appreciate the impact that you're having on us I, as well. That's the, that's the whole... My whole point. Mm. You don't understand him. I, I don't like doing this, but you continue to tell me that I do and I don't. I'm telling you now I don't. I'm, I don't not, saying that, I'm, I'm not saying that, Vess. I'm not saying that. It's hard for me too. It's hard for me and it's hard for me to watch you guys do the thing. It's hard. But you, you keep on telling me, but what about us? But I'm thinking about you guys. I'm thinking about everyone in here. I'm trying to tell you that. Well, look, we don't keep saying, what about us? This you keep on saying, but you know, there are people in here too, and I know that. And that's the hardest thing. And so I just want you to know that and understand and accept that. And that's, there's no, there's no solution out of this. There isn't, and I've just got to cope with it, and that's it. It's not the end of the world, I know that, but I've just got to be left alone when I'm like this. I just, I can't be, you can't keep on hounding me about what's right, what's wrong, what I should do and how I should cope, because I know how to cope with it. And coping with it is how I cope with it, not how you cope with it. But what we're asking, is there anything we can help you to do no, to cope with it? No, there is absolutely nothing. Nothing. And just ignore it. Ignore me, you just ignore it. After the break, it's time to swap. <laughs> dude, dude, quick, 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 quick. Yeah. <laughs> To evict Greg, dial 1902 or SMS Greg to 191010. Why don't you mow the parts that actually have grass on them rather than taking this damn thing all the way up the lawn? There's no grass on the other side and you're mowing dirt. Why? Because you like to put me through this torture. That's why. Greg is this week's gardener, and Big Brother has supplied him with a push mower to cut the lawn. Best looks like she's really enjoying herself. You know? 
You're mowing the dirt because you love doing this crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're doing it like that, because you, you know you're going to piss me off. They're always against Vess, little Vess, everyone's against her. I've just seen them mowing the lawn together, how romantic. They don't talk much, and when they do, all they do is swear. And they just have to get through past that stage. Maybe they're called Mr and Mrs Get Stuffed. Whereas we're Mr and Mrs Lovely. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. and Mrs. get stuffed. I think they're just in that abusive stage of love, you know? Yeah. yeah. Our marriage really mimics what true marriages are about. Housework, cleaning, repetition. Greg, don't push me. What? Don't. What? Maybe we could pay him to come over and mow the lawns at our place. You know? Doing a good really job there, mate. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Let's come out for lunch one day. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy the family. Come and meet the missus. I've already met her. <laughs> Mowed her lawn last week. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you haven't been cutting my grass. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Thank you. Thank you very much. That was pretty good fun, Timmy. Yeah. No, I bet it was. Looks very good. Looks much better, much more even. Yeah. Okay, we've got to go and chat to BB. We've got to rap about aluminum right. Thursday. Go on, love. Oh, my old age, Ronald. Come on. That cut very well. Yeah, it's it better than a normal warmer. Good for soccer, Timber. Yeah, this morning. Okay, oh, I've got to fix myself up. Just don't leave it. Logan Greg. Tim. Big brother. Big brother. Happy aluminium. Happy Under aluminium. Underpants Under Under day. day. Yeah. I bet you couldn't wait till this day came. What exactly is <laughs> aluminium undie day? Aluminium undie day is a celebration of the mining industry, um, which is obviously a huge part of the Australian economy. Um, and we celebrate it by wearing aluminium underpants. Maybe we should just give a quick display of, of, our, of our undies. To be yeah, great. we will. Because you can't really see them where you are. This is this is the standard model. That's yeah, yeah. Um, it's usually worn quite bulky, uh, very nappy-like. It's almost aluminium nappy. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. It's, yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of. Um... Okay, needs a few final t final touches. I'm so tired, me. Hooray, hooray, it's aluminium Monday day, 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 happy aluminium Monday day, yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, housemates, the aim of this week's task is for housemates to get oh, closer no. to each other, to give you the chance to get as close oh. as possible to all of your housemates, be as decided time to swap partners. Mel with Fess. Mel, you with uh, Timbo. You have 10 seconds to connect starting now. Ah. Come on. Timmy, do you want to swap? Which goal have we got? And then bring it. Oh, <laughs> two, two, quick, 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 quick. And then we go. And then we go. And then we go. Okay, so now they have to cook. Oh, yeah. Boys kitchen, eh? Yep. What do we feel like for dinner tonight, you know? Some oh, tuna? Just... Please make dinner good. Tuna surprise, Please try. <laughs> tuna, <laughs> tuna, slop of oil. No, yep. I need to get a toilet done. Um, some okay. olive milk. Some olive milk. And then afterwards, we'll do a little dance and fill some olive Yes, yeah, so I guess Helen was trying for you. Oh, oh no. mate, nah, it's a relief. I, I was going insane. Not insane, it was just frustrating. She went 78 times. So we got it. Really? Yeah. From 78 breakfast, times. So from Brecky through to like midday. Today? No, the other day. I was counting on my head, man. The border was. 78 times, really? <laughs> yesterday. I do feel for her, man. Like, I do. I really do. I want her to feel really happy in this house. Same. I mean. But there's only a f mate. But there is a limit. This is a relief, ma'am. Next on Big Brother, the boys take over the kitchen. Dad! 
cover and simmer for 25 to 35 minutes. God. To evict Vesna, dial 1902 555578 or SMS Vesna to 191010. Yeah. Are you washing all the vegetables? Are we, are we rinsing the vegetables? We will once we do We're that. We're going to rinse them afterwards. This is Big Brother. Vesna, you may not directly or indirectly offer any advice on dinner making. I didn't! Earlier today, Vesna was banned from the kitchen, so it's up to Tim and Greg to prepare the meals. If you can, if you can see what I'm doing here, is I've actually sliced all of these along like that, and that means each time I cut, I get a, a plethora of little pieces. Do you know what I mean? So it's just a wonderland of carrot pieces. Mm. How's that rice going? Should we just take a gamble and leave it there? Yes, you should always take a gamble once. You should things. play. You should mix you it up. Mix it. You got to feel it. Can you feel the rice? Is it burning? Oh, I'm burning! Oh, the water's getting hot. That's good. You let it go. Then. Perfect. Bok choy. My more favorite. You eat, the more you fart. Now, a lot, a lot of people don't know this about bok choy, but mm. it's only a very small part of the, the vegetable which is actually useful. It's this red part here. Can you see it? Can we get the camera to zoom in on? Oh, bok this is the only bit. So the rest of it you throw away. The rest of it you rubbish. You throw that away. Yes. And what you do is you take the actual, the useful part, and you cut that once in half. Well, this is the traditional way. It's just, just don't try to say bok choy has a lot of taste. Very rubbery. Why are you not using the root of the bok choy? No, he's Sorry. using elastic. It's elastic. That's good. Now mix that around. Just so mix it around just so that we can't <laughs> get it out again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just taking it out for now because it's, it's, it's poisonous. Special, mm -hmm. It's a very fine. special taste. Okay. God. We're doomed. We're not eating tonight. Lower heat, cover, and simmer for 25 to 35 minutes. You just add the bok choy in at the end. I think, uh, but, yeah, but I don't know that. Tim. Yes. Do you know you only add the bok choy in at the end, just for the last minute? Because it doesn't need much cooking? Yes. Yes, yes, dude. Okay. I would have told you that. This is Big Brother. I didn't do anything. Yes, no. Melanie, you are to clean the windows in the garden now. <laughs> in the what? Dark in the garden. <laughs> Bloody hell! You're joking me. You're Fun. Fun. We're just going to be cooking. I'll do it's not the garden now. Yeah, this is part of the garden. Sucked into well. There's another piece. I actually quite enjoying this. Yeah. Could actually cook, do something, you know. Ah. Excuse me. It's okay. Okay. Poor Millie. I hope you were saying poor Moe. Hey? Eh? Yeah, of course I was. Yeah, of course I was, mate. Oh. oh no, I can't. I can't do this. I can't do it. I can't. All this, I can't. Oh, there's gonna have... Oh my god, my frog's in here. Oh my god, there might be like all these bugs in here. Oh. We just get it over and done with. We just do it. We'll be right. Okay, let's go and talk to them and see what they're up to. Oh, God. Right, you bring your arm over here, not just your arm down. Oh, <laughs> you're on. <laughs> hey, dinner's nearly ready. Yeah. Wait, I'm tiny bit busy at the moment, actually. Okay. I don't know if you know that. Ah, I'm busy! Mosquitoes! Oh. Um. Big brother! Dear yeah. big brother! Yeah, it's, it's Stinking guts! Make me vomit! Stay tuned because coming up next is a special Friday Night Live. Our current final four will go head to head with four mystery guest ex housemates who will claim the All Stars crown. 
To evict Vesna, dial 1902 555578. To evict Greg, dial 1902 555576. To evict Melanie, dial 1902 555581. Or SMS their names to 191010. Maddie, this is juicy stuff. Oh, I love it. Almost as much as what Greta wears. Take a fresh listen. The Matt and Joe Show. Weekdays from 6 on 1019 The Fox.